Hi there, my name is Brendan and I am a solutions engineer here at D2L. In this short video, we'll cover how to import Google Drive items into your course content to provide your students with seamless access to your Google learning resources and interactives. To begin, we'll navigate to Emily's course content via the content tool link in the navbar. Before we dive into importing those Google resources, let's be sure to cover some of the content tool basics. In the content tool, Emily has access to unit folders and a standards alignment gauge so that she can be certain that her content is well organized and positioning her students for success. Clicking on a unit's folder allows Emily to preview that unit's content, rearrange items, or even add any of our 36 release conditions to any individual content item or unit to help create dedicated learning paths for students. Different teachers may use the content tool in different ways. For example, some elementary teachers may treat it as their teacher binder, using it to organize and house learning materials that they'll share with their younger learners in small batches via daily activity feed posts. On the other hand, middle and high school teachers may use it to create asynchronous linear learning opportunities for their students. To add a resource from her Google Drive, Emily will click Add Existing and then Google Drive from the resulting menu. Once clicked, she'll be prompted to select the resource from the Google interface. It's important to remember that the permissions of the items you import will be reflected within Brightspace, so if you're importing an item for student collaboration, you'll want to make sure that the file isn't set to private. This import option is great if you want users to be able to edit, if applicable, or download a copy of the Google item. That said, Brightspace also has a Google file embed that enables users to embed a view-only version of the Google item as part of a larger activity or content page, as seen here. Same document, but two different options with two different use cases for integration. If you have any questions about importing Google files into your Brightspace content or about the content tool itself, please don't hesitate to reach out to your D2L team. Thanks for watching.